Hi there, once again, welcome to Audio Tech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can build a simple multiplication table in Python using the for loop. So basically, what we are going to do is that we're going to accept input from a user and then based on that number, we're going to generate a multiplication table accordingly. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So let's see how we can do this in a bit. So we need to create a variable to store that number where so we need to create a variable to store the number the user is going to enter. So let's say number is equal to, so we're going to prompt the user to enter a number. And this, we can use the input keyword. So input, and then let's say the user should enter a number. So enter a number. So that is it. But we need to convert this number into an integer because the user may enter a decimal number and all that. So let's try and then convert that number into an integer. So let's put everything into a bracket. And just say int so this is going to convert whatever the user enters into an integer then we can go ahead and use the for i n range so we're going to specify a range of the number we're going to generate for the multiplication table so we're going to say from 1 all the way to 12 and then we'll bring a colon here and then we're going to print out the output now so let's say print and it's going to be the number the user enters. let's bring comma and then it's going to be times the i. This i represents the number within the range. That's going to be 1 up to 11, 12 not included. So I'm going to explain that after running the code. So I'm going to say i here. So I'm going to print the i. So this is going to be times the i. So I'll break times and then comma. And I'm going to bring my i. After that, I'm going to bring equal to. And the equal to is also going to be in what quote and finally we're going to multiply this the number within the ring times the number the user enters so it's going to be like this and that's all that's all we need in order for this code to run so first of all we are trying to ask the user to enter a number that's enter a number and i'm going to convert this number into an integer and i will specify a range so that means it's going to generate the multiplication table based on the number that user entered between one or from one all the way to 11 12 not part okay and then we're going to print out so the number that user entered times the i which uh, which means that i starting from 1 to 11 and then it's going to print out the number that's going to be the iteration the number we have over here within 1 to 11 times the number that user is going to so let's run this and then to bring more meaning to what we are doing Okay, so when we run this code, it's actually going to prompt the user to enter any number. So you see what? Enter a number. So let's see what is going to happen when you enter any number. So let's enter 6. So when I enter 8 and run this code, it's going to generate multiplication table for me using 8. If I run this again, let me clear this down here. Okay, so when I enter any number at all, let's say I enter 4 and I hit enter, it's going to gen generate a multiplication table for me accordingly. So you can see the number started from 1 all the way to 11. If you want to be 12 to be part, then we have to change this into what? 13. Okay, when we change this to 13, we run this code again. And let's say we enter any number again, 8, and I hit enter. You can see this time around 8 times 8. All the way up to 8 times 12 giving 96 so basically this is how this is going to work for you so based on the number the user is going to enter it's going to generate the multiplication table for the user accordingly when we want to generate let's say the multiplication table all the way from 1 to 20 that means we need to change this place and make it 21 so just take note of that so the last number will not be included so let's try and run this again and then let's try and say we want 13 times table and then we hit enter and it's going to generate all the way up to what 20 so basically this is how to create a simple multiplication table in python using the for loop so this is just three line of code first we created a variable which is going to store the number and then we want to prompt the user to enter a number so it's going to be input then we ask the person to enter a number we try to convert everything into an integer because the person may try to enter a decimal value So this is basically how we can. So basically, this is how you can build a multiplication table in Python. We just have this simple line of code. Once you use this print statement, 
the number times the range so we specify a range between 1 to 21 any number the person will enter within this range will be printed out if i try to enter even 90 it's going to print out the 90 times table for me depending on the number of specified within the range it's going to print all the way up to that particular range thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial on how to create a multiplication table in python using the for loop if you enjoyed this remember to subscribe and hit the like button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video it's actually going to be project based tutorial and you're definitely going to enjoy every bit of what i'm going to do on this channel so this is how to build a simple calculator using the for loop i'll show you how to use the while loop to do that in another tutorial and on the go we're building so many amazing video tutorial here which is going to be about projects thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial so like come your way another time stay tuned and keep safe bye bye